Hey everybody, um, today is part of my back to school series and today I'm going to be focusing on binders. Um, binders are a great way to stay organized. There's a lot of components and a lot of ways you can organize with them. And don't worry about this hair, it's like in a clip, but usually it's like this, but it looks funny in the video, so I put it to the side for this time. Anyway, so this is a binder and this is for Kim. It's pink. And it's just a one inch binder, depending on the class and if you know you're going to get more papers, um, then you can get a thicker binder. but. I usually stick with the one inches, they're cheaper, and then I can just switch papers out after each unit. But, um, I add some stuff to mine that'll help me organize, and, um, hopefully this will help you too. So the first thing I put into my, um, binder is a folder. Now this is just a cheap plastic flimsy folder. 25 cents at Staples for their sale, but that ended last Wednesday, but if you got to it and got these folders, it's a great way to stay organized. Um, I plan on putting papers that aren't hole punch that I need to hole punch in here, and then once they're hole punch, I'll put them in my binder, or um, homework for the night. Like, if I don't use a homework folder, I'll just use these folders and then look through all my binders, and if there's stuff in it, I take them home. Um... Or I take the binder home, whatever. Uh, so then, there can be a lot of uses for this. Um, done homework, um, homework that has to be done, like I said, whole or non-whole punched um, paper. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, so yeah, you can get these anywhere, or you can get those, um, 14 cent, uh, paper ones, but I find that the paper ones rip too easily on me, and the folders that rip are not my friends. Um, then also what I put in there is a spiral, or... Yeah, spiral notebook, or if you don't like spiral notebooks, then you can just slip a composition notebook into the pocket. Um, this one is college ruled. Some are wide ruled. Like, I got another one that's wide ruled. Um, 70 sheets, and I try to save paper and save, like, money by using fronts and backs, unless I have to rip out the page, which hopefully I don't have to do, but... I use the front and the back. So let's say one part of notes is here, another part of it would be here instead of here. Or notes on this page, and then you flip it, and you have like lab questions or something like that. Um, so that'll be something good if you don't like loose leaf paper because I find that loose, I find that loose leaf paper in your binder tends to rip out easier and I think that if they're in a notebook that um, they won't fall out as easily but that's just my opinion if you like loose leaf paper or filler paper as other people call it um, you can have it in there um, another great thing to have in a oh Ooh, okay I was at a picnic today. I'm tired. Um, another good thing to have in a binder is um, dividers. Dividers are a good way to stay organized because you can classify the papers that you get back or um, say you have your filler paper and you're writing about a certain thing. You can um, categorize your papers by like just different groups, which would be notes or passbacks or labs or lab questions just anything so depending on how many different um, groups you want you can get the four pack of the dividers you can get the eight pack of the dividers either way it's an organ um, organization type of thing another thing you could do is page protectors depending on the course because our global is a two-year course and 
BOPRO, which is like college, is a two-year course. Um, you can get page protectors so that way when the summer comes or before the end of the year you don't have ruined papers or not, um, they're not squished or bent or anything like that. And what I find with that is if you go on to um, Office Depot has a pack of 100 or like a box of 100 for like 12 bucks. So you can get um, them all for less than a dollar. Um, for like 12 cents each. Um, I'm tired. Anyway, um, that's what you could do. Page protectors. And I don't really see anything else. You could put like little, those pencil bags right here and that could hold like say you have a ruler specifically for science or specifically for math or your calculator. You can put those in there and then you don't have to worry about bringing stuff when it can, when it's already in your binder. Um, last thing, I don't really think there's anything else for binders, but labels, if you want to get those sticky labels that you can peel off and put on and then write on, that would be good if you're going to label right here if you don't have the thing at the top, and also good for notebooks and folders, just to say really, really organized. So, yeah, this is my binder portion, um, comment, rate, subscribe, um, and watch out for more videos. There's going to be makeup, clothes, and then just more tips like for notebooks and stuff like that. Well, I don't think I'm going to do notebooks, but just different things. So watch out for those, and thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot to me. I know I don't express it that much to you, but all your views um, really mean a lot to me. They really do. So, yeah. Um, I will see you guys next video and yeah have a good day night wherever you're watching from day night okay bye